When we talk about the rich heritage of India, we talk about the world's oldest civilization, which is a colossal amalgamation of religion, tradition, and customs. To showcase India's culture and tradition in the form of craft, the Indian Council for Cultural Relations (ICCR) is organizing a craft mela, Colossens, from the 23rd to 25th February this month. Interacting exclusively with PBNS, President of ICCR Dr. Vinay Sahastrabuddhe elaborates how this fair highlights India's craft practices that can help balance the ecology of the planet. The emphasis of this coalescence, which is a craft mela kind of, being uh, organized exclusively for the diplomatic corps initially, although others are also invited, but the emphasis is basically on uh, meeting challenges like climate change, for example, by way of going back to the nature. Because everything is natural, and natural dyes, natural resources, bamboo, clay, and several such things which are not going to hamper our ecology in any way, and which are going to contribute to the cause of uh, environment in general, are going to be used, and therefore this is our way of worshipping nature at the same time using the natural resources in a very dignified manner for the cause of human well-being. Further, the President talked about how this craft mela brings the much-needed limelight for the creative artisans from across the country. When our uh, global community gets to know about these things, they also have a more broader and uh, kind of all-inclusive uh, perspective about Indian culture, because Indian culture is not just art and dance, I mean uh, uh, dance and music. Indian culture is artisanship also, Indian culture is uh, from sand art to Pattachitra and from Varli to Madhubani, everything is Indian art. We also reach out to Director General of ICCR Kumar Tohen to understand the imperative facets of the craft mela. That ICCR is organizing uh, a an, an event like this, which will uh, showcase our uh, art and our artisans, but not only as an art and artisan, but also in the context of sustainability and the environment uh, preservation that we are trying to do. Now, this is only a beginning, and uh, some you know some uh, elements have been identified now, and through these elements, we will uh, we have chosen only a small component of the vast repertoire that we have of those art forms and also the artisans. But the idea is that slowly, as with passage of time, we can also expand it to include other states, other artisans, other art forms, and also be able to include them in a bigger way in the repertoire that we are organizing outside under Azadi Karmit Mahoso and also, also later under our cultural diplomacy. The Director General further talks about India's cultural diplomacy as the part of different initiatives being organized by ICCR. The ICCR has been uh, engaged in cultural diplomacy and uh, soft power projection for uh, last seven decades plus. But uh, uh, the meaning of soft power and uh, what all goes into it, that has been evolving with passage of time. And as an organization, as a live and vibrant organization, we have also been uh, trying to adapt our work to make it more relevant to the time and to be uh, and to make it more interesting. So, for example, now art and artisans have included now cuisine is very important thing. Some time back, for example, people felt that maybe you know uh, Bollywood doesn't uh, represent uh, our culture. But the truth is that uh, a you know large part of uh, you know uh, international community outside they still. Uh, uh, identify Indian culture with uh, with what is uh, in, in Bollywood. So we are now trying to pick up some of these elements also and see what is the best way in which we can create a positive you know momentum outside, we can create a positive narrative outside and a correct appreciation of the strengths and the beauty of this great country that is India. This is it in today's session. Thanks for watching.